and welcome to this special edition episode of Tekken Master Helpline. Now in this episode I'll be going over what the heck happened to version 5.0 and what is happening in Tekken Master Helpline. And in order to do that I need to go back to the very beginning, how Tekken Masters came to be. Now we started as a small after school club back in 2011 and we are a group of tech enthusiastic kids who were to be taught the basics of the technology in the school because this was a period of time where the school I went to was transitioning from a physical copy textbook to a digital copy curriculum where the teachers needed, would need help with simple stuff like projectors and smart boards and computers which for when we first started, it was just us going out and to different classes and just being called out of class to go help them, which we realized the teachers weren't going to like and weren't liking because of the fact that we were missing their class. And that resulted in us trying to figure out a way to work around that and still get the help that the teachers needed and staff, which is why we started video tutorials. Which then brought up another issue, the fact that how is it that the teachers and staff were to figure out a way to access those, which I was put in charge of, and that is how Tech Master Helpline came to be. And the very first Tech Master Helpline, it worked, it was very basic. It was just links to different pages with different categories and the videos just posted in there. It worked until it got too crowded because there was too much content for that layout. Which is why over that next summer I created version 2.0 and it was a brand new layout, brand new everything and it worked. It The layout was much better, you could use the content and it was fine. But then we kept adding content and more content and we started improving the content. So I started using iMovie to edit videos. It worked. But then that resulted in more crowding, which is why I created version 3.0, which was a slight overhaul in the layout. It was to help alleviate issues of finding your way around. Which then I called in a friend of mine and he taught me the basics of video editing with professional tools like After Effects and Premiere Pro and using professional microphones and using professional recording techniques and better camera quality, better resolutions, all of that tied in together and that resulted in us creating new content with much higher resolution, much better quality, which we created version 4.0, which the layout was changed and the video content was improved and upgraded, which then we were able to go back and we talked with the original crew leader or the tech master leader and they told us the fact that people were finding it, some high up people were finding our website, but the major problem they were still having is the fact that it was cluttered. The layout did not work, did not flow, which was why we started the whole concept of version 5.0. And we loved the version 5.0 when we announced it. It was still some bugs need to be worked out, some more content needed to be added, but it was very simple and easy to find the content you needed. Only problem was three things came up after I announced it last summer, and that was one, high school. I went back to high school. Two, I got a job to help pay for the video qual the production costs of making videos like this. I had to pay for a new microphone, pay for a new camera, which wasn't the best. It was just to get by. 
which it will be updated later, pay for a new computer that can handle video editing, pay for Adobe's video editing suite, all that the job paid for, but it resulted in me losing time. And then third, just my education and understanding of how to do things has improved over the past year. I've learned how to edit better, how to record audio better, and how to record video better. Now, those three things, I believe, has resulted in bringing us to this moment, which I believe, in order for me to continue on and make this any better, is I need clear completely remove that image of us being part of a school which is why I am proud to announce today that we are now going to become true technologies Now, True Technologies follows the same basic guidelines as Techmaster Helpline. Now, Techmaster Helpline was a teach and educate only. We are going to expand on that. We're going to teach, we're going to educate, we're going to review, and we're going to update you. Now, we're going to review you, we're going to teach you on basic stuff like video quality, or teach, sorry teach you on basic stuff like Google Docs and Word, stuff like that, and video recording techniques, how we record, how we edit, stuff like that. We're also gonna review technology, new technology that comes out that we can get our hands on, which we need sponsors for, which if you guys are willing, please shoot technology our, your, our way. Like if you get a hold of a graphics card, please shoot it our way, we will, gladly review it for you. We're also going to update you on technology. For example, let's say Apple's WWDC happens. We will update you on that. Google I.O. Anything. Any news, we will update you on that. And we are just going to improve the content of our videos. We're going to improve everything about who we are. We're going to improve the website. We're going to improve the YouTube channel. We're going to try to stay up to date and have a regular schedule basis. Now, before I continue rambling on, let me continue, close with this. You guys are the ones that have made it possible for us to get to this point. Now, please continue to support us. We need you to go to the new YouTube channel and the new website. Subscribe to the new channel and favorite or Remember the link to the new website and please continue to support us. And I hope you enjoyed the content we've created so far and I hope you enjoy the content we continue to create. And with that, thank you for helping us this far and I hope you help us continue with that success. Thank you.